but prepare to see it even more worse in the next couple of minutes. Then I will remove the bangs and make him bald. This is by far the laziest, most efficient way to draw him. Hmm, whose art shall I fix now? Hmm, let me see this. I love Hiro Fumi Yoshida. Okay, simp. Okay, so I like this piece. Definitely has potential, but like, bro, where is the jaw? Why the heck did you remove his jawline? And also, why is the hair all over the place? Like, the bump here is kind of weird. It looks like he has a tumor on his head, bro. Nah, I'm just playing. So let's just copy and paste this real quick and start fixing it. As always, we start with a smegzy liquefaction. Now, what I'm doing here right now is just basically giving him a jaw because again his jaw is basically non-existent anyway so the problem is that this guy is looking up but the way the face is drawn says otherwise so i'm basically gonna try to make everything in place making the eyes tilt slightly up if that makes sense and just giving the lips some juicy definition then i'm gonna make the eyes looking down on you you know because it's hotter that way like look down on me zaddy oh yes as well as lifting the eyebrows a little bit material girl now here's a before and after. And yes, I made it worse. But prepare to see it even more worse in the next couple of minutes. So I'm gonna add a bit of color and I know what y'all are gonna say. I love the saturated colors, but I listen to criticism, okay? I will make my art vibrant for once. Then I will remove the bangs and make him bald. Art tip number one, you need to know where the hairline is so you can start drawing the hair properly. Hence why I'm making him bald. Anyway, I'm gonna start drawing the eye. Just drawing that line under the eye and then the bushy eyebrows then we do the other eye and simply shade basically i'm making him look like he's looking up now let's do the smegzy neck okay so his face looks so out of place right now i might have yassified him a bit too much but that's okay i will simply just yassify everything else as well okay wait let's just make the jaw just a little bit smaller just so he looks like a twink and obviously let us draw the upper lip then the juicy neck okay Okay, so for our next challenge, we shall be drawing the hair. So I'm gonna make the original hair just slightly transparent, and now we start with a point. And from that point, just basically make these bananas very basic. Now, on another layer, let's just fill it in with a dark blue color. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't ever use plain gray or plain black for some reason. I don't know. It's just smegsier that way. Okay, so let's just define the face just a little bit and go back to the hair. So for the hair, I just alpha lock this baby up. And now I use an airbrush to add a light color. Now it's all nice and gradient. So remember my tip from before, guys. Shade it as a group like this. Shade it like it's a bunch of bananas. I'm using my flat brush like I always do. It will be in the description. I'm telling y'all, this is by far the laziest, most efficient way to draw hair. Anyway, I'm not satisfied with the lips. Something tells me that it needs to be juicier. Also, I added a very random dash of blue in the eyes, and then this pink color around the shadows. It makes your coloring look less muddy that way, I guess. It doesn't even have to make sense though. Okay, now we draw the ears. Just a little V-shape. Hmm, should I try to add more details on the hair? Hmm, okay, let's try this blue color. Okay, um, no, let's try that again. Okay, it really sucks. Never mind. Before we move on though, have you ever wanted to make a TikTok or shorts? Here I am on Democrator creating my short. Now, for those who don't know, Democrator is a two-in-one screen recorder and video editing software. It is free to download and the link will be in the description. So, this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a short video. Once you open Democrator, simply click this all-in-one recorder. You can even put a webcam here. Over here, you'll see templates. You're gonna wanna choose TikTok and then BAM! This will automatically be a vertical video. Just press record and do your thing. And once you're done, just click stop and it will automatically go straight to the video editor. So it is very easy to edit here, very beginner friendly. You can also drag and drop your files for your convenience. And now they have a lot more features, okay? Such as virtual avatar that I talked about before, video effects, auto-generated subtitles, and more. So Democrator is free to download. So if you like it, it'll be right in the description. Thank you, Democrator for sponsoring this video. Now, let's move on. 
Okay, so we now have the juicy face and the smexy hair. Now, let's draw the clothes. So for the clothes, I think that the clothes that you did are fine. However, it lacks a bit of definition, so let's see what I can do. I'm gonna do the outline first, and also I put the hand on a separate layer just so I can't touch it. It's already perfect, as you can see. Next, I'm gonna add blocky shapes. It is very important to just start with big shapes, then we ossify later. And now I'm basically just removing too much detail and just simplifying everything and now i'm gonna add the big guns and by big guns i mean the shadows i have no idea what i'm doing by the way this is just me copying a reference for real for the black shirt let's just make sure that it's playing onto his tatas and, and yeah we should be fine lastly we're gonna do the hand so again the hands are already done pretty well i'm for real just gonna make the lines thicker and you know add a fingernail and then we add some veins who does doesn't like some smexy veins. Well, that's basically it for the hands. We don't want to make it too detailed. Okay, so now let's add some more shadows and some more outlines. And then I'm gonna add some more gasifications around the eyes and stuff. Okay, so now I feel like we should be adding a bit more accessories. I mean, Yashida is smexy and all, but like we need to look at something here, not just a smexy face. So even though this is not part of the original design, I'm gonna give him rings, you know, just some edgy f-boy rings because we want to add to that vibe of edginess the edge lord boy that he is so just a ring here and then another chunky ring and a small ring then we do the piercings i know it kind of looks bad right now i'm gonna fix it later okay okay so now i'm just rendering it like so oh and of course add his mole all right okay we are almost done now let us add the finishing touches first we merge every layer together then i'm gonna add a multiply layer and airbrush a dark shadow all over him just on the sides then let's add an add glow layer to draw a bit of light on the sides oh yes i'm a big fan of lighting that doesn't make sense let's just add some more eyelashes then i'm gonna add a soft light like this with an orange hue okay now we're gonna airbrush that all over his face so now it's less edgy and more fruity also i did notice that his head kind of looks big i mean it's not too big like a funko pop but big enough to just kind of bother me a little bit so i made it smaller and just cleaned it up like so and here is the before and after wow i made a completely different artwork but yeah here's the speed paint again guys before y'all comment about anything in the title it's for real just clickbait okay i am not fixing art i just say that because i'm trolling i'm just turning it into my art stuff although i do offer some tips on how i do it so yeah Here is the final result. Thank you for making it till the end. And thank you, Demo Creator, for sponsoring this video. So, watch this video next, and I'll see you there. Stay cool.